Okay. Um, <clears throat> good. So you're using this for the rest length. And then you set up an equation. So this is very good. You said the length that's measured is one quarter of the rest length. This is actually a, a very good step. This is a step most people would skip, but it's good to do this. Actually writing down the equation that relates the two things. So that's good that you wrote down that equation. Uh, so yeah, you're, uh, you're exactly on the right track. But what would you do then? Then you plug it into that equation. Let's go ahead and do that. So. Okay. Um, now, uh, you have to be careful here. What, what, what equation did you plug it into? This one? What, what does L stand for here? L and L not are the same thing? Yeah. No, we better use, we ought to use the same uh, variable for them then. Okay. Okay. So you want to use the same variable in this equation too. Okay, so what would you do then? So that they had some trouble with the algebra there. So let's go through that algebra together. So uh, here's the equation that we. Uh, so here's one of the equations that you had, right? Mm -hmm. And at, after this point, I think you made uh, an algebra mistake. Can you just divide by L naught? That would be the best thing. Yeah. Why don't we both divide both sides by L naught? What do we have left after we do that? One fourth equals. Right. That's definitely the best thing to do at this point to get rid of the l naughts by dividing both sides by l naught. That makes your life a lot easier because now that variable is gone. Right, and now you can square both sides. Now we can square both sides. Notice, uh, is that bigger or less than 1? Less. Beta always has to be less than 1, right? Because what, what does beta stand for? V over C. Yeah, and V is always at less than C, or maybe equal to C. So we know we've made an algebra mistake if this came out to be bigger than that. Okay. All right. Now, one thing to notice is, again, is that in a sense, this is a very easy relativity problem. You could get this right even if you've never heard of relativity. All you have to do is figure out who stands for the rest length, L or L prime. Well, they told us that the rest length was bigger. So the rest length must be L in this case. Okay. Um, so uh, then you can just go ahead and plug in. But you, um, you should mark this problem and go back and do it again later to make sure that you're comfortable with all the algebra steps. Okay. Should we try part B? So it really doesn't matter which one you use, right? They stand for the same thing. Um, and notice part B is about the same spaceship as part A. Part B is about the same spaceship. So um, what, what does V stand for in this problem? The speed of the clock. Well, take your time. Think about that. Yeah, V is the speed of the spaceship. After all, there weren't, even any, there weren't any clocks in part A, right? V is the speed of the spaceship. Well, since it's the same spaceship in both parts, it should be the same beta in both parts. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so did you just plug in beta here? Sounds good. Yeah. Alright, that 
that sounds good. Think about exactly what your answer would be. So what would your answer be? Four? Yeah, why not one fourth? What was the question? By what integer factor? Yeah, but one quarter is not an integer. So you'd want to say they differ by a factor of four. That just means that one of the times is four times bigger than the other, or that uh, one of the times is four times slower than the other. Okay. By the way, um, by what integer factor did the lengths differ? Now that was beta. Yeah, isn't that the very first thing they yeah. told us? They told us that the length of the spaceship is one quarter of its rest length. Well, you could have rewritten that equation like this. So they also differed by a factor of four. So this is something that we should know about relativity. The integer, um, the, the ratio of the lengths is the same as the ratio of the times. And, and you can see why that is, because they both have the same, the same exact square root term. They've both got the 1 minus beta squared term on both of them. And again, the beta is the same for both of them as long as we're talking about the same situation, because it would be the same speed in both cases. So really, once you've figured out the ratio of the lengths, you also know the ratio of the times. That's one thing that this problem is saying. So actually, for part B, I, I would think you would get full credit without doing any work. Yeah. Because you could just say, well, I just know that the, the ratios are the same in this case. Okay, so uh, at first we weren't quite sure how to uh, attack this, but once we see how to attack this, we should see this is just about as easy as a relativity problem could be because you don't even have to have heard of relativity. It's all really just based on figuring out who was L and who was L prime at the right. beginning. One thing that you did that was very good is you actually wrote down the equation that related these. A lot of people get very confused if they try to substitute without writing down the equation. For example, a lot of people might try to put in a 4L over here. How do you know whether this is 1 quarter L or 4L? Um, or actually, I guess a lot of people might put a 4L over here. Well, anyway, if you write the equation first, then you can just use substitution. So it looks like you might see a question like this on the test. So it's a good idea to, uh, to write that equation here uh, in the first place. OK, good. So again, the upshot is keep your eye on which of these two variables is bigger and which is smaller.